We want revolution. I wanna cross, get them crashing to the brave new world. I wanna ride. I wanna ride. Hey everybody, welcome to the first episode of the Informant Podcast, your new source for information on Zynga games, specifically Mafia Wars. I'm Pistol Pete from the Spockholm Report, bringing you news about bookmarklets and game strategy and so on. And I'm Chris Chester, also known as Mig Chainsaw Chester. I am the godfather of the family Mig. I am also one of the reps to the Mafia Wars Commission that Mig started or helped start back about two years ago. Uh, I'm going to be talking about family life and uh, what it is to be a fighter versus an energy account, things like that. And I'm Jennifer. You know me as the Mafia Wars loot lady, and I write a blog to keep everybody informed on current events and game tips and strategies and instructions to use the bookmarklets. So, guys, how's things going this week? Things are going good. Pretty good. The, everyone seems to like the new mission feature. It causes a lot of controversy, and people get frustrated with it, but we all agree we like it. Yeah, I was having a, lot, uh, a hard time with it when everybody else had access to it, and I didn't have access. And every time somebody would invite me to do it, I click on the links in my feeds and I got a big goose egg. Or you were too late and the mission was already filled? Well, no, this is before it was even um, accessible to me. This is oh. when I first rolled it out. So that was irritating me. And it took me about three days after they actually rolled it out to me to actually start to use it because I was so pissed. That's what they call the slow roll. <laughs> they don't bring it out all at once. They gradually open it up to players. And I think now it's open to everybody. Yeah, it is. I've, I've actually completed some missions and created a couple of my own. So I've been pretty pleased with the loot drops. They've had some yeah. really nice loot drops in the, in the missions. What I wish, I wish that they had this type of loot way back in the beginning when I first started playing about two uh, Holy moly, it's almost going to be two years. Because now, now what you see is you see all these players that are getting huge and they're new. That so when these players get to my level, they're going to just be rocking. Yeah, because they'll have 500 of everything. Yeah, I mean, you can get experience points, you can get reward points, you get all these things with good loot now as they start. And they can just keep building on it and building on it. And these, these people are going to be the powerhouses um, unless you spend a lot of cash. So, um, with regard to the missions, though, I think the the one thing that's probably been the biggest struggle, and, and Jennifer, you can probably touch on this a bit, is, I mean, is when you start a mission and the people aren't finishing it, or they're signing up and saying that they're gonna do it and they just don't. Um, and so I think you know you've got some feedback on that from your experiences and some of the write-ups that you've done on it. And then obviously I can piggyback on that a bit with some of the things we've done at Spockholm to try to to mitigate some of that lost time or lost stamina or energy that you expend on the game. Do you want to elaborate a little? Sure. I think the biggest problem is that a lot of Mafia Wars players are impatient and they want their loot right away. And what happens is three to four people will sign up for these missions and there'll be one person that doesn't do it. So they'll sign up, maybe they forgot or went off offline, and then everyone else has to wait for them. Now, there's been a lot of bugs, which a lot of them have been fixed now, but there are a few where it, it will tell the person who tries to do the mission that it's incomplete or that it's completed, even though they haven't done it. And it'll show up as blank on the other person's screen. So now everybody gets mad at the person that didn't do their part when, in fact, they weren't able to. The initiator of the mission is able to remove people by clicking on the little X in the upper right-hand corner. You can remove somebody from the mission. And the the controversy comes with the time frame. Zanga gives us, I think, two and a half, like three days maybe or two days to complete it. But people want it done in five minutes or they're not satisfied. So you see a lot of um, complaining in the news feeds. And what you have done, the script writers, is come up with a way to identify the the helpers and the initiators. 
You're a script writer? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Market maker. Or same thing, the JavaScript. Same thing. We use JavaScript as the coding language. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep, and so. that's why they're called bookmarklets, because you keep the JavaScript in the bookmark toolbar. Yep. Am so, I right? <laughs> yep, that is correct. And so what we've had this week was Martin, I think, originally released the, the mission ID bookmarklet, which was the one that kind of just um, uh, put the Mafia Wars um, Facebook ID of the person with a link to their profile of the person that is actually doing the individual tasks. And then you can click on it, send them a message, and remind them that, uh, hey, step up and do what you said you were going to do. And then, you know, everybody will reap the benefit of the rewards of the particular mission. But the one thing that was o sort of always escaping us was who was the person that actually started the mission to begin with. Because they have a lot of control over removing dead weight from the mission and keeping tasks, you know, keeping track of the time left to find another suitable, you know, worker bee, so to speak, to come in and do that. And Aaron, um, over at uh, Mafia Task Force, actually came up, and uh, him and Dookie came up with something to actually find that in the code. And so then uh, Aaron created a bookmarklet to go with that. And so uh, when it first released, it worked, and then it didn't work, and then I, got a, I saw it didn't work, and I tried. So then what I did today was I released some new code that kind of combined the best of both worlds. So it has, but when you launch the bookmarklet, it has both both sets of information on the screen to you in each of the individual boxes. And I wrote the mod a little bit different that if they ever put more than two missions on a screen, then the it'll automatically handle that where uh, Aaron's original code was written for the specific mission boxes because there's only currently two on a page. And I, I guess that's probably the one thing I'd really like to see for convenience would be more than one mission listed on a page. Um, but it's not that big a deal. Well, but they do. They do two, don't they? They do two. two yeah. Right. I, I, I'd prefer to see like five because I think five, that yeah. it would be it's a reasonable a amount that, you know, I've because I've had as many as like eight or nine missions going at a time. So, I had ten ones. Yeah. So. Now, the disappointing part is you burn off a lot of energy and sta stamina, and then, you know, it, your mission sits there, and it eventually goes dead if, if it never gets completed, and that's the part that I think really torques off some players. And that's where we think the bookmark will come in handy with, you know, simple, fair nudges to say, hey, get get the thing moving. Hey, I do have a question for you, Chester, because, you know, with Meg and the family aspect of the game, how do you guys feel about the new uh, warring feature that allows you to war pretty much anybody? Yeah, well, here's the thing. You'll see that families handle it differently. Uh, in my family, Meg, you've got it where... We don't really hit list anybody, and we also don't declare war against other people. Okay. I mean, every once in a while, we'll do it as a joke against one another, but it's not something that we actually do. Um, what we have seen is that most families frown upon that, that are, I don't want to say legitimate families, but they're not the non admies the fight groups that are actually out there. We don't like to hit list we don't like to go there and declare war we think it's childish a little bit what we like to bank on is the ability to attack somebody and keep them down <coughs> so to us it's kind of useless although i can see the social aspect of it uh, everybody wanting to have fun with each other Right, and that so. is probably the big thing that I noticed is, is an opportunity now. I always felt it was crappy, for lack of a better term, that you had to war only against your own your own Mafia Wars family. Yeah, your own friends, basically. Yeah, your own those friends. are the ones you're going to have in there. I don't want to war with my own friends. I want to war with people that are taking me off the hit list or people that are putting me on the hit list. Right, or someone well, that's we, just got a screwed yeah. up family name, I mean, you know, or Mafia Wars name. We got no rewards for wars either, other than a crappy loot item. So if you already got your achievement, pretty much everyone lost interest in the war feature altogether. That's probably true, too. I At least I that. did. Yeah. Well, I never got I the have, achievement yet, so. Oh. oh, you haven't? No, and I'm still waiting on the Grey Wolf. I have I know two. you have two. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. I have pictures if you don't believe me. <laughs> yeah, I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> so that's the thing is that, that there's going to be a lot of us that aren't going to get that stuff. Yeah. No, I, it's, I, I've gotten a lot more people tell me they're getting them. So I think this round of pignatas, they're probably more available. That's mm. just a theory. Yeah, I've so been keep, wondering that too. That's probably Keep opening true. them. Yeah. I want three now. That's what I'm going for. Jeez. Greedy. I want one. I know. <laughs> oh, another thing about the war features is the helper loot is really good. So you should try to help people in wars as much as possible. Right. And then what's the other big news that came out this week? And, you know, and talk about how changes come by the miles or by the bunches with Zynga is the dis discussion about the new Italy. Is it yeah, Italy? Yeah, yeah, it was Italy. I yeah, was, it was Italy. very surprised. And it's funny because it's under cities, isn't it? I yeah. thought Italy was a country. Well, I thought so too, and I made a lot of fun in one of my blog articles, but then somebody pointed out that Cuba is a country. And so then I said, well, I, I, they call them destinations. Whoa. So we can't, we can't really make fun of them for picking a country. Yeah, we can. <laughs> when I, well, then no one said anything about Cuba. Which is another country. Yeah, so we can't really go that go there. I had well, to edit. See, it was all new back then. <laughs> we were just ecstatic to get yeah. the hell out of New York. I can't believe how fast they came out with another city. I, yeah, or and another, I, I think... Excuse me, so destination. Yeah. The problem is Las Vegas is you have to have a lot of stamina, and players that don't have big stamina pools, they're not going to finish it. Yeah. Yeah, you see, I'm, I don't... I'm not... Uh, we call them actually e-whores. Uh huh. With way too much stamina and no attack, no defense, because it, it depends on how you build your player. Like, right? I'm an uh, I'm a fighter, so I'm not going to have a lot of uh, a lot of energy. So it takes me forever to get through stuff. And I I missed out on the last uh, Clydesdale that they had. Oh, in Dublin. The horse. Right in Dublin. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I don't think it was it called the Clydesdale. No, but it was a no, Clydesdale. No. <laughs> I'm a veterinarian on the side. Um, I'm not, but I know a horse's ass when I smell one. Mm. Anyway, um, the the problem that I have is that I, I can't get through it all. So I don't right. have enough pints. I don't have enough uh, energy to do that and do the stuff that I want to do in Vegas. And I quit. I have not solved anything but Cuba and New York. And I will not solve anything else. I'm going in as a fighter. I'm going in to get the loot drops, one, and number two, the weapons that are going to help me fight. Right, right. So I don't really care. Bangkok is cool because you got to, well, I have a tough time with Bangkok too because I need a lot of cash. Yeah. The only reason I need cash is to get the, get the stinking tigers. Well, not necessarily. If you're a heavy fighter, you now have the option for the fight loot and the Vegas loot, which is a higher value. Correct, but for animals? Oh, that's true. I need to get the tigers. Yeah, well, there's a animal in the Vegas loot that's higher than that. Oh, for the tigers are cool. Um, I'll have to look that up. Yes, right. because here at the Informant Podcast, we will not make crap up <laughs> and burn for it later. We won't shoot from the hip. But... <laughs> yes, we will. <laughs> Absolutely. Live long and prosper. The rhinoceros, which is a fighting loot item, has a defense of 54. The tiger okay. in Bangkok has a defense of 52. Uh -huh. and yeah, so, but, it, but it's harder to get a rhino than it is to get a lot of bot and then go in and get your tigers out of the faction. And the bighorn has a whopping defense of 64, but the drop rate sucks. Okay, and where do you get that? Um, that's you get it in um, Vegas. Las Vegas. It drops on stamina and energy jobs. Okay. In District 8. Very good. District 8 is where you yes. get it. Yeah. Okay. But the drop rate's so small that it would really, it would be unfeasible to think you could get 500 of them. Okay. I like to think of them as bonuses to my fighting loot stash. Yep. And then the tigers fill in. Cool. Thanks for listening, and tune in Friday for another great episode of the Informant Podcast, bringing you quality news and information regarding the Mafia Wars. See you then. I wanna call
Let's get them crashing to the brave new world.